Oh my God, guys, so number one, don't mind I'm in my work clothes. And number two, after waiting months and months and months, do you know what finally came in the mail today? I'm going to show you. Bum -ba -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun -dun. Yes, I finally was num next on the waiting list and I lived in New York, so they got here really, really fast. I ordered a famous rainbow bagel. I have no clue why there is bread in here, but I could see the bagels and one Kragle thing. I will show you guys. Okay, so I just unwrapped a Kragle. It's like a bagel croissant thing, but guys, here it is. Are you ready for this? This is the famous rainbow bagel. This is the goddamn bagel that broke the internet, guys. And apparently it tastes like vanilla. I don't know. Anyways, I also got a New Year's Eve bagel. Look how pretty that is. And a cotton candy bagel, guys. Check these beautiful bagels out. Isn't that so crazy looking? And I tried a piece of bread. It was good. Okay, guys, let's try these bagels. I'm gonna try this first because I actually gotta take pictures of the other one, so I'm just gonna take a little bite. Mmm. Kinda plain and very doughy. Almost tastes like raw dough. Delicious. All right, let's go to the next one. That is basically a Play-Doh bagel. So is this one and so is that one. These are like Play-Doh bagels. I mean, look at this thing. Look how unnaturally colored this thing is. It's insane. Oh my goodness. Look at this crazy thing. Even the cotton candy one, like holy crap. I can't believe how bright these things are. And you could feel they don't cook them like, I don't know, they don't like overbake them so they're like crunchy because this is how they're not like brown. This one's really pretty though, the New Year's one. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, do you know who suddenly appeared? Cause she heard I had the famous rainbow bagels. Hi. All right, are you ready to try this? We're gonna bite into it at the same time. Oh God. Are no you way. ready for this? Okay. okay. Ready? This is apparently tastes like vanilla. Three, two, wait, actually we gotta get on the fluffy side actually. <laughs> fluffy side, right? Three, two, you ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh my God, it's sweet. Oh, it's vanilla. Oh my God, guys, look at the inside. This is Play-Doh! Ooh, that's sweet. That's like they just poured sugar in there. Yeah. We're gonna finish chewing for a second. This actually, my buddy here, very smart. Allie, what do these taste like? Easter bread. Easter bread. Tastes like hollow bread. Mm -hmm. This tastes like a hollow bread. All right, we're gonna try the cotton candy one now. Ready? Mm-hmm. Uh, let's find a good side. That's a good side, right? Three, two. Look at the inside of this. Dear Lord. It's sweet. It tastes like challah bread. But not really cotton candy. I think that one was supposed to taste like cotton candy. It tastes like challah bread. It tastes sweet, but it wasn't exactly I gotta show you guys the inside of this thing because it's really insane. Guys, look at the inside of this thing. Oh my God, look at the air bubble in yours. That looks oh, like Play-Doh. That looks like freaking Play-Doh in there. Dear Lord, that is Play-Doh. So I'm actually not gonna open up the New Year's one because I heard it tastes just like the normal rainbow bagel, but it's really pretty. Like it's got little stars on it, right? You like it's it? Cute. Let me uh, get a little smell. It's probably gonna taste just like the other one. I don't know if these stars are edible though. <laughs> they don't look very edible. All right, so here's a closer view. And Allie's correct. She said it does look like that maybe they're made out of sugar because they really look like like actual confetti stars, but she's probably right. I mean, these are sweet bagels and they had special cream cheeses. You can't order them anymore though. Used to be like um, a birthday cake cream cheese and a birthday cake cream cheese and whatever else they had. They also had Christmas and Hanukkah ones, but the Christmas one was peppermint and that sounded disgusting for a bagel. So no. So what yeah. would you rate? Cause obviously the cotton candy one and the rainbow one, these, these, mm -hmm. these like, we, we need to get this quite in our mind. This is the bagel that shut down their website, broke the internet, was so famous. These got in the YouTube rewind. Oh really? Yes, yes and yes and turn a little local bagel shop into a bombarded place that gets a shit ton of bad reviews now because they couldn't handle all that at once. And you know what, mm. I feel for the bagel shop. What would you rate these freaking famous ass bagels? Uh, because they look like Play-Doh. I mean, looks, I'd give them a 10 out of 10 because this is, I don't know how they make it so vibrant. Without, 
burning like, it. They put like water or something on it. I remember watching a video on how the guy made it's it. It's amazing. Like looks 10 out of 10. People taste... are scared to eat these because of how much food coloring they are in these. Like, I mean, taste I'd give it. Tastes like challah bread. Like a four, not four, like a seven maybe. I just just because they I just, like challah bread. So. I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, like tastes good, but it wasn't anything that I was. It surprised. tastes almost like a low grade challah bread, I guess you could say. I'm going to have to agree with Allie. Definitely like a seven out of 10. I am a huge bread lover, unfortunately. And I'm still <laughs> trying to figure out why they sent me a piece of bread. I don't get that. They sent me like two pieces of bread and I tried one. And it was just bread. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, like free bread, like free know, slice man. of bread. Anyway, I mean, I love challah bread. Love Easter time. Love that challah bread with the boiled eggs in it. But this just tastes like low grade challah bread. I, I guess maybe the the freaking cream cheese. I wouldn't put butter on this because it's probably not gonna taste good with butter. But anyway, this is this is the famous bagel. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if this is because the food coloring is really pronouncing these or not. But it looks like it's way more air bubbly than a normal bagel. And Allie, what were you saying about this? Oh, it just kind of tastes like you can taste the food dye in it. People like got really freaked out by these because of how bright they really are like I can understand they are a little intimidating to eat mm. I mean this one it's black like how what? do you get bread get bread that white yeah <laughs> you can it looks like paint it does. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to let my dog try a little bit of this because of just how much food I like I think I'm gonna just give him the smallest smallest little nibble of this because I don't feel too comfortable letting him have this so here you, you want to say you tried the famous rainbow bagel? Are you going to be the first dog ever to try one of these? Probably. Here you go. What do you think? What do you think? Of course you like it. <laughs> anyway, so Allie and I both agree. 7 out of 10. The famous rainbow bagels. This is how I feel about them. Ah! It tastes like low-grade challah bread. Smell like Easter time, though. I feel that. Anyway, I'm chewing and swallowing. I am somewhat of a lady. Anyway, <laughs> like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to follow my life. Leave a comment down below, guys. Have you ever tried these? Have you actually gone? I think they're in Brooklyn. Let me see here. Yeah, Brooklyn. This place is in Brooklyn. Have you ever actually gone out of the way like some of these people just to try something that tastes like a gimmicky, over um overemphasized challah bread with some special cream cheese on it i'm not just in the bagel store their shipping was excellent you know was it worth the wait i guess in the whole fact to say i finally tried one of the famous bagels so yeah it was worth the wait i mean they are beautiful definitely 10 out of 10 Allie and i both agreed on that i mean this is gorgeous gorgeous um but yeah leave a comment down below have you actually gone there or have you ordered them like i have and yeah i hope you guys enjoy another challenger girl vlogs thank you so much for watching have a good one guys bye